let's start with the first topic for this session. In this topic, we'll be covering a certainty equivalent method. Now we have seen when we do risk analysis in capital budgeting because of uncertainty regarding the future, the prices might change, technology might become old, or whatever reasons like political factor, economic factors, because we are sitting today and we are looking into the future 5 years, 10 years down the line, what happens when you make an investment. Now when we take into account is the certainty equivalent method or any method of capital budgeting, what do we do? We try to reduce our cash flows. If I'm expecting a profit of 10,000, I'll do in such a way that 10,000 is not actually estimated. The amount has become less. One way you do is by discounting rates because we know where higher the discounting rates, the amount become less. And that's what you did under was risk adjusted discounting rate. We did risk adjusted discounting rate. Instead of discounting at a lower percent, I tried to increase the percentage figure. And the amount become less. And that's how we start estimating lesser profits for the future. Right? Same thing we try to do under this method at a certainty equivalent method. In certainty equivalent method, what do we do? Just multiply your cash inflows with a certainty coefficient factor and then, then do NPV as you normally do. Like you have in your the various methods of capital budgeting, your probability techniques, certainty coefficient, all just focus on one thing, reduce your cash inflows. Like for example, if you're doing probability technique, what do we do? You multiply your cash inflows with a probability factor and certainty coefficient, what do you do? You multiply your cash inflows with a certainty coefficient factor. And then you do NPV as you normally do, inflow minus outflow. Right. This is what certainty coefficients are all about. Now, certainty coefficient factors will be given to you in the illustrations. Right? How much certainty you are that this much profit will be earned in this much year. See, I'm sitting today in base year. If I say 80,000 profit will come under first year. It might happen, it might not happen also. You might get 80,000 profit in the first year. So what do they, how much certainty, how much probability is there? So certainty coefficient factors we do, how much certainty we have that 80,000 will be earned in the first year. So what do you do to your inflows multiply with the certainty coefficient factor and then you do NPV as you normally do. What was NPV? Present value of cash inflows minus present value of cash outflows. So NPV won't change as a basis when you do risk analysis. Based on methods, a perspective will change what method you are covering. Let us do a small illustration and see how a project will be selected on a project A and B which are two mutually exclusive projects which means if A is selected B will be rejected and B is accepted A will be rejected. Keeping in mind let us see how will you do under certainty coefficient method. Now for example you can see in this illustration there are two projects A and B. It involves an investment of 50,000. The expected cash inflows and certainty coefficients are given to you in the table as such. They are given you 3 years, then they are given you project A and then they are given you project B. They are given you cash inflows 35,000, 30,000 and 20,000. They give you certainty coefficient factors of 0 0.8, 0 0.7 and 0.9. When you go to project B, cash inflows are 25,000, 35,000 and 20,000. Certainty coefficient factors are 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7. They tell you risk free cutoff rate is 10%, suggest which of the projects should be preferred. Now when you are selecting a project, what do you do? You do one based on NPV. Higher the NPV I accept, lower the NPV I reject. Negative NPVs I do not take into consideration first of all. Keeping all this what you have studied now, can't do a certainty coefficient method. So what we will do now, first we will do is two inflows multiply with the certainty coefficient factor, then you multiply with the discounting rate. Let's start with project A. Now project A, if you see cash inflows are 35, 30,000 and 20,000. Certainty coefficient factors are given to us 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.9. So when you're starting discounting as you do under NPV, do the first step first multiply with the certainty coefficient factors. 35,000 to 0 0.8 gives you 28. 30,000 into 0 0.7 gives you 21,000. 20,000 to 0 0.9 gives you 18,000. Then you do and start discounting at 10%. 10% factors you know how to do with the calculator and you've also seen how to use a table. So you get factors of 0 0.909, 0 0.826 and 0 0.751. When you multiply you get 28,000 into 0 0.909 you get is your present value of cash inflow. Continue. 21,000 into 0 0.826 and 18,000 into 0 0.751. Same thing you do for project B. Right? Do for project B in short. Take into account is your cash inflow, multiply with the certainty coefficient factors. For example, 25, 35 and 20,000 are your cash inflow. Certainty coefficient factors are 0 0.9, 0 0.8 and 0 0.7. First starting with NPV, present value of cash inflow when you are finding, multiply with the certainty coefficient factor. 25,000 to 0 0.9, 25,000 to 0 0.8, 25,000 to 0 0.7, 25,000 
Present value of cash inflows for project B is how much? 54,095. Add up for project A, that is 25,452, 17,316 and 13,500. How much you get? 56,316. So you have present value of cash inflows for project A and project B simultaneously. Now do NPV as you normally do. NPV is what? Present value of cash inflow minus present value of cash outflow. Inflows are how much? 58,316 for project A. Investment was 50,000. So how much NPV do you get? 6,316. Good to project B. 54,095 is your inflow. Outflow was 50,000. How much NPV you get? 4,095. Now if you see both the projects have a positive NPV. Select the project with the highest NPV. So which project is a higher NPV? Project A. And project A will be selected in this case. This is how you do risk and analysis uncertainty in capital busting. Do capital busting following NPV method. To NPV method, I am making small changes here and there. Based if you are doing probability method, instead of certainty coefficient factors, multiply by probabilities. If you are doing risk adjusted discount, just increase your discounting rate. According to the methods, the NPV method changes, but NPV should be kept at as a base. Inflows minus outflows I need to do and then I select or reject the project accordingly. This is how we do certainty equivalent method.